the bar. Woody Harrelson joined the show at the start of his fourth season after Nicholas Colasanto, the bar's beloved coach, died. This picture has sentimental value for Nicholas and had hung in his dressing room. After his death, the cast moved it into the bar as a tribute. Most of the guys I, you know, I broke into the majors with, they're all going now. You mean, uh, gone to the great beyond, coach? Nah, Alan, dead. <laughs> With his deadpan delivery and gentle humor, Nick Colasanto gave life to Coach, the forgetful one-time major leaguer whose stories were as big as his heart. He was a wonderful actor and he was also a director. And he had studied New York and um, he was very serious about his acting. He helped us a lot uh, in those first few years. In such films as Raging Bull, Nick had proven himself as a serious actor. But on Cheers, he played it for laughs. Oh, uh, yeah, millions believe in uh, reincarnation. You mean like when you come back as a chicken? <laughs> he just was rock solid. He had so much history going for him. He was, the, he was definitely the father. Nick and Nick's character cared about me. Me, Shelley, and me, Diane. And that was part of the dynamic on and off the set. But by the show's third season, Nick's health was failing as heart disease took its toll. And cast and crew were all aware of the gravity of the situation. His energy level was not was not one tenth of what it used to be, and he had even more trouble remembering lines than he than he ever did. But he, the audience, still loved right to the end. The audience loved him when he was out there. I can't understand it. You know, you wonder, you're born, you grow up, you die. Is that the end? Is that it? Jimmy Burroughs uh, uh, called us into the. Uh, his office and the uh, the producers were there. Jimmy was there, and I kept saying, "Oh, please, God, don't don't let it be that Nicky's dead." And I even said it out loud. Jimmy walked in, and I said, "Jimmy, don't don't you dare tell us that Nick has died." And he so he just went. When he died, uh, you know, it was it was really sad. It was a very sad. We we canceled the show. We we didn't shoot that day. And it was um, it was very hard to finish that year without him. Nick's funeral was held in his hometown of Providence, Rhode Island. Boy, you ought to see. You'd, you'd think it was the Pope that had passed away. You, you couldn't get in that church. That street was packed with people. Even there, laughter accompanied the tears. I know how one of um, Nicky's lady friends spoke. <laughs> well, I didn't even know it was his lady friend. Who said, um, I don't know if you can use this or not, but um, who said that they would kind of take care of each other when they really needed it. <laughs> Eight years later, the final scene of the final show would honor Nick. The last moment of the show, after uh, there's a knock on the door in the last show, and Sam says we're closed, he goes up and he adjusts that picture, and then he goes off to the darkness. So that was our, you know, that was our tribute to Nick. The fourth season of the show began with a new face tending the bar, Woody Harrelson. Hold on, now. I don't know. I may not have known Sam as long as some of you guys, but we're pretty darn close. I think I'm kind of like the brother he never had. Wait, Woody, Sam has a brother. <laughs> Guess we're not as close as I thought. The cast was amazing. The cast was incredible. Every one of them was so supportive when I came in there. Woody was immediately embraced by the cast, who found him to be the perfect embodiment of a younger version of Coach. It was like Nick turned into this young guy and came back, and he had Somehow, he didn't, he wasn't the same as Nick, but he had the spirit, he had the spirit. Sam, you'd know if I was lying, I'd, I'd tell you. <laughs> the magnitude of filling in his, his spot really hit home. And I remember I was so freaked out, I, uh, I called up John Ratzenberger. <laughs> I called up John right away, and he was so nice, man, and he just, because I was, I think I was, I think I was crying. I was really upset. I got upset. And uh, he just totally told me, just relax, man. You, you know, it's not what you're, it's not as big a deal as you're making it. Woody would continue to work behind the bar for eight seasons, earning four Emmy nominations and one Emmy win in 1989. Woody came in and gave us a whole new breath of fresh air. I hate saying anything nice about Woody. Oh, Mr. Movie Star. Oh. More than any of his Cheers castmates, Woody has gone on to have a very successful film career, even landing a Best Actor Oscar nomination in 1996 for The People vs. Larry Flint. 
Married with two young daughters, Woody has also been an outspoken political activist who has supported everything from the environment to the legalization of marijuana. But despite the twists and turns in his life since his days on Cheers, he looks back on them with great fondness. I think of the show a lot, and I've had a lot of dreams since since the show wrapped where I would dream that Teddy called up or Jimmy Burroughs called up or someone and said, we're going to get it going again. And uh, you in? And I'm like, yeah, I'm in. And, uh, I mean, there was a real camaraderie there that, uh, you know, you don't realize how great something is until it's gone from you forever. You know, we had an excellent time together. Mm -hmm.